Wrenching Boys YouTube channel. What's up guys? Welcome back again for another video. We're going to be working on pulling apart this motor, which is actually out of a daily driver, our 2500. Um, it's a six liter. Uh, the motor had low oil pressure, so we're gonna put a new pump in it and basically rehaul this whole motor. She is pretty crusty. I'm to 5.3 in my 2500. It works for now, but uh, eventually I wanna get this or the 6.0 back in the 2500 where it's supposed to be. We're gonna start tearing into this and I'll give you guys a little time lapse and a little bit of information if you're new to the LS game here. It's handy to have a little shop back. Just go buy like a $50 shot back if you don't have one. Get all this stuff cleaned out. You don't want any of that going off in your heads. Doesn't matter though if it does get down in the heads because I'm pulling these off anyways and getting them all cleaned up and refreshing. But if you're just doing a simple gaskets and valley, this area is always bad on these motors. So just make sure you get all this cleaned up. You don't want any of that crap falling down in your valves. Cause problems later down the road. But I'd always recommend vacuuming that out before you start pulling anything apart. All right, so just got done vacuuming. Looks so much better. Um, went around the bolts a little bit. I mean, it's, it's as best as it's gonna get. I'm not gonna take too much time getting all the head scrubbed up. I just want to get some stuff out of the way so I'm not getting all my tools greasy and I'm not getting super greasy. This thing is covered in oil, but what else isn't? Well, before you get them all nice. Now I'm gonna work on getting the valve covers pulled off, get the steam port two pulled off, pull this valley cover off, disconnect the knock sensors, and then we'll pull the heads off. All right, guys, we got the head off. I had it sitting in here uh, before I got the motor in the garage it sat outside of the tarp on it mostly got a little bit of water in it when it rained I uh, wiped it out nothing looks to be appear to be bad at all there was a little bit of water probably up to my fingers but I have been spraying PB blaster down in the cylinders hopefully it it's fine it spins over fine so I think we're good. The cross hatching still looks fine on it. I think we're gonna send it, but I'm going to turn it over the motor after I get the other head off. And uh, we're gonna see what, what everything's doing, just making sure everything's good. Hopefully this is just a head gasket motor. Just reseal it up and I can put it back in the truck within a day. That'd be fantastic. Hopefully we don't run into any problems. Um, I'm gonna have to order some parts here. I think it's gonna get new lifters and trays. Uh, new push rods uh, it's probably gonna get a spring upgrade just because they're cheap and might as well why not put springs in it while it's out i think the head's gonna have to get a little bit of cleaning done on it but other than that it doesn't look bad someone obviously changed the oil on this thing because it is super duper clean normally these heads are just caked with crap um you'll see i have a 5.3 i just got You'll see how bad it is when people neglect to change their oil in these motors. It is really bad. There's a lot of sludge. Hopefully everything comes out right. I hopefully that motor is not going to have to be a machine shop motor where I got to send it in, get everything redone and clean because it's so sludgy. It's going to be the twin turbo motor for now until the 6.0 and, and the short box gets built. So it'll be rocking a 5.3 twin turbo i got the gt45s if you haven't checked that video out it's my most recent video go ahead and check it out Don, it's just an unboxing but i'd say just go check it out everybody says i can't do it on a 5.3 we're gonna do it prove them wrong all right let's get back to this motor tear down and then we're gonna keep going now update you when i get a little bit farther all right guys so i just pulled off one of the motor mounts and uh you can probably tell me what's wrong with this right away by looking at it this is what was in my daily driving 2500 so looks like it's getting new motor mounts the other head off there's a little bit of water that was pulled in there and a little bit of water that was pulled in there it was mixed with pb blaster it started to flash rust 
had a little bit of surface rust in there, but I think I can get this out, this little spot here out with a Scotch-Brite pad, but I can't even feel that with my finger. I might have to clean this lip up a little bit. But other than that, everything looks fantastic. I'll probably clean the top of the pistons off a little bit. It still appears that it was a factory motor. Just someone took really good care of it. So, so hopefully in the next month or so, probably not even that, I'll have all the parts here to get this back together. Uh, hopefully that can go in the truck, back in the truck where it belongs. Pull the other 5.3 out. I have a video already on how to remove these. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's kind of funny. But if you haven't seen it, I'll give you a little rundown. So this little tool, if you're gonna become an LS person, this little tool right here is gonna make your life so much easier. All right, there's that. If you don't know how this works, LS Balancer has these little three grooves on the back side of it right here. Um, this tool just hooks onto it. Uh, and the kit comes a little deal that's about the same size as the LS push rod. So if you bend it, break it, fine, go to the junkyard or take one that you got laying around, uh, throw it in your, your kit, use that. But this little tool, lifesaver ripping into this front cover obviously you can tell it's got some it's got some oil leakage going on here which is quite common let's get this cover off let's see what happens you got two bolts down here from the oil pan and you got all these little guys around here look at that brand new oil pump let's check it out looks like a brand new chain for sure i don't know maybe they didn't shim it right but it only had 20 pounds of oil pressure and yes that is super normal for ls i think i am going to change that out there's your timing chain um your cam is behind this cam retainer plate you always want to change that when you go do a motor that there's a little seal behind there that caused that could have an oil leak in it and you don't want that. I'm curious to why there's a new pump in here and it only had 20 pounds of oil pressure. So let's just keep tearing into this thing. Huh. Well, I made a mess. Turned the motor upside down. Whatever, I don't really care. But you'll know I am the guy spilling coolant all over the ground. Doesn't matter how much I drain the block, what I drained it of, it's always gonna drip something all on the floor. You can ask anybody that I've redone a motor at in their garage or in their shop. I'm always putting coolant on the ground. So I just, just buy a bag of kitty litter and leave it there because I am a messy person. All right, time to pull this awesome oil pan off. Looks like we got a bunch of bearing material in this pickup tube here. I don't know if that's actually bearing material. That almost looks like uh, RTV. Hopefully it's RTV. Actually, that just looks like crap. That looks like RTV though. If that's RTV, we're very lucky. That's exactly what it is, is RTV. Yeah, RTV. We're good. We're clear. We're in the good so far. Still worries me why I only had 20 pounds of oil pressure. We'll take this bolt out, take that bolt out, and take this bolt out. This will remove the pickup tube. 
and uh, we'll remove this windage tray here and we'll see what's going on. All right, guys, I'm at a good stopping point right now. Uh, I'm gonna go inside, finish my nap with the family, but we got, everything looks decent in there. It doesn't look bad. It's got your normal play, so. I don't know, I'm kind of wondering, the low oil pressure might be a cam bearing. I don't see any signs of like heat marks or anything. So I think it 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 might be a cam bearing. If it's a cam bearing, it's gonna kind of suck because everything's gotta come back apart, put new bearings in. But everything looks fine, so I don't know. I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know why it has low oil pressure. Uh, everything's looking good so far so but at a good stopping point probably gonna order some parts for this some get head studs and uh some other goodies this is actually a gen 3 um gen 3 6 liter quick um, i'll go through this i actually have six liter rods that i could probably shove in here um rods and pistons but if you look real carefully at these rods, they're curved. That means they're Gen 3. Let's see if I can find a rod here. Here's some out of a, I'm guessing this is an LQ9 piston and this is LQ4. I'm surprised it doesn't have the Gen 4 rods in it. This is the first sixer that hasn't had Gen 4 rods in it. But see how this one is a square. It's not rounded off, it's Gen 4 rods. These are a lot stronger. You can actually see the difference, see how thick this one is compared to that one. I'm out for the night. Take care guys, see you next time.